Tag Team Mega Rumble Gauntlet. Oh, that's a lot of words for a rather involved and uh, complicated matchup. All to determine the number one tag team contenders for the titles that are presently held by Murder One and Slim J. Representing the Tomaselli brothers is Sal Tomaselli. Representing Fury and Halen is, of course, Jay Fury, the sensational one. There's a waist lock reversal. One minute intervals, folks. Both members of the tag team have to be eliminated for their contention in the match to be dissipated. We're going to find out more as this progresses. Oh. Jay Fury lighting up Sal Tomaselli. Well, I think the lights are out, lighting up nothing of, of the sort. Trying to make short work of the Iron Saints and their entry per Anthony Legato in this number one contender's gauntlet. At the end again, and of course, four, with one minute intervals, three, the complexion two, of the match changes one. every 60 seconds, and perhaps sometime in a big, big way. As Jay Fury and Sal Thomas continue to mix it up. Representing the Don Juan Marvel contingent, Don Juan. And Don Juan, for his efforts, meets up with a dropkick from uh, paying attention, Jay Fury, most attentive Jay Fury. The self-proclaimed Latin heart throb. Then why does he come out to craft work? Don Juan. Oh, wait a minute. Sal Tomaselli providing a spine buster of his own. And Don Juan, now it's like they're double teaming Jay Fury here. A little cooperation. Why do you want to cooperate with anybody? Well, I guess maybe if it's a short-lived cooperation, I guess you probably get away with it. Bigger two can accomplish more than one. I believe you'll see a lot of that in this type of environment, too. Well, it's probably going to be short-lived cooperation, Exactly. Yeah, Re yeah. Relations dissolving before our very eyes and being creative, and then dissolving again before our very eyes. That is the standard fare in a battle royal when only the strong survive, and it is survival of the fittest. I kind of wish Sal Renaro would dissolve before our very eyes, but that's... Uh, which we'll think Only if under, it were under a steaming, putrid, burning Five, hot bath of acid. Four, wow, say what you really three, mean. Two, one. Don Juan, Sal Tomaselli, and Jay Fury, the first three entrances, all representing their own respective tag teams. Representing the Iron Saints, Vito Tomaselli. So now both Tomaselli boys the, uh, uh, are in there in their full tag team finest with with apparently Don Juan assisting in doing their bidding at, uh, at the moment. And then Vito Tomaselli with a double Paisan attack in the corner here. Which means that Jay Fury's been the victim of the wrath of pretty much everybody so far. At these Tomasellis go, the Iron Saints picking apart Jay Fury. Not an easy task. Looks like Sal Tomaselli wants a bit of an assistance from Don Juan. Oh, my goodness. Good heavens. Looks like Jay Fury just got a bustle in his hedgerow thanks to a very low dropkick from Don Juan as well as not much more abuse from both the Tomaselli boys. Well, Jay Fury is, is taking a heck of a beating here. Yeah, he's definitely been the subject of the wrath of all three of these athletes. And these Iron Saints, they've stated... They're here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to become the most prestigious tag team champions in all of wrestling and win the wild side tag team titles. Well, this is a starting point for them right five, here. It certainly four, is. Well, the matches are, in three, fact, being seen throughout two, the base of the one. world. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Fury Halen, Nitro Halen. I believe Jeff Fury's found a little assistance. Nitro Nikki Halen is in the ring, folks. And Halen had a focus. Unfortunately, the focus did not anticipate a clothesline from Don Juan. Well, Don Juan stopped that in its tracks. No. Halen still showing some desire. He eliminates Don Juan. He's history. The team of Don Juan and Chris Marvel only have one hope left now. I guess that would be Chris Marvel, huh? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Juan has been eliminated. But late on the call there, uh, Jay Marigot goes as Nitro Nick Halen meets Matt first right in the face.
and two full-fledged tag teams now duking it out in this tag team Mega Rumble gauntlet. Five, The four, Tomaselli brothers as three, well as Jay two, Fury and Nigel one. Nick Halen. Jay Fury's been in from the get-go. Oh, not good. Not good. Ladies Wait, and gentlemen, solely representing the Urban Assault Squad, Nemesis. No, wait a second. And you'll see there's only 25 injuries in this matchup. That's because the 26th injury was supposed to be Shadow Jackson. He got himself in a little bit of trouble, apparently. Could not make it to the arena tonight. Nemesis said, piss on it. I will do it myself. He's come out here. He is going to represent the UAS in this match alone because he said, why not go out here and whoop 25 stinking crackers? His uh, quote, not mine. Forgive me, but that's a rather uh, an interesting choice because of the fact when he's eliminated, then the Urban Assault Squad is essentially eliminated. Oh, well, well, don't get into the mind of Nemesis. I will just make, make my brain hurt even more. And interestingly, Nemesis going for a fellow member of the African-American persuasion, which is something you don't often see a member of the Urban Assault Squad involved in. Interesting with all the white Five, athletes that uh, four, Nemesis has available to him, he's going after Jay Fury. Two, one. Some weird things going on in the mind of uh, Nemesis there, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, Maybe he just hates him that much more for tagging with the white man. This is Hard Knocks, Ryan Ash. And an unknown quantity, Ryan Ash. And Ryan Ash meets up with one half of the Urban Assault Squad going solo here tonight. Nemesis, as Vito Tomaselli is paying his attention to Jay Fury, Nitro Nick Halen on Sal Tomaselli. Oh my, looks like Vito Tomaselli just made sure that Jay Fury got his weapons massively destructed. Fury now opening up on Nemesis. And a low kick from Nemesis, oh boy. You get the impression there are a lot of tag teams want to be a number one contender, huh? What do you think? Wildside is one of the most impressive tag team divisions of any company on the planet today. And subsequently very competitive tag team divisions. Incredibly, because when you have that many truly great tag teams, there's only one tag team title. There's Five, only one championship. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, and other organizations had tag team titles and three single champions had titles coming out the yin yang. Here we're a good deal more selective, which makes the titles that much more desirable by a lot of very clever and gifted athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Don Juan and Chris Marvel, Chris Marvel. The last hope for the Don Juan Marvel team, Chris Marvel, Don Juan has already been eliminated. It's the Texas Wrestling Academy contingent. Nemesis really putting a hurting on this Ryan Ash making his debut here. Look at Vito Tomaselli. Just, I mean, standing, standing on the nether regions of uh, poor Jay Fury. Bada bing. Not much left of Jay Fury, I would think, no matter how sensational he is, since he's been receiving the brunt of the punishment from the opening bell. Nemesis has just slapped the crap. And I, I hope I don't mean that literally, out of Ryan Ash. Interesting. And Ash goes sailing into Nitro Nick Halen. Saw a bit of a flurry from uh, Ryan Ash. A lot better flurry than the last guy named Ash who was here but many years ago. But regardless, these hungry tag teams are making a big, big step along the way Five, to get some quality four, gold, tag team three, gold. Two, one. And they gotta go through quite this little version of hell in order to pull it off. Jay Fury has just come to the Tomaselli boys. And Ryan Ash, this is simply the best. Keenan Quinn. Keenan Quinn. Putting the boots now to, I believe that's a uh, Vito Tomaselli. Tough to tell with this massive humanity in here. All you see the back of heads and a lot of other wrestlers in the way, not to mention a uh, 
a, a standing crowd. Keenan Quinn going after Chris Marvel. Vito Tomaselli and Nick Halen mixing it up. Ryan Ash and Sal Tomaselli and Nemesis and Jay Fury in the northeastern corner. And the good old Mo Howard poke. One of the most effective moves of Wildside version 6.0. Vito Tomaselli was on the cusp of elimination. Manages to bring himself back into the ring here. Well, Vito putting some nasty forearms under the chin of Nitro Five, Nick Halen. Four, three, two, one. Representing the Sauronaro Septile ticket is unrated Salvatore Renaro. Oh, uh, great. The ratings assassin, Salvatore Renaro. First thing it goes for are the eyes of Chris Marvel. I'll take that back. That's Akina Quinn. It's been very busy here at Wildside 6.0. Sal Renaro. Yeah. His representation of his many guys that totally rule. Tonight in this matchup as a tag team partner of Cool Seth Delay. Oh, those are the two guys that totally ruled the shore. Ladies and gentlemen, Keenan Quinn has been eliminated. Maybe they're now NC-17. I got a joke for our longtime Wildside fans. Rick Cardo's out, and Sal Renaro fighting himself in a bit of a pickle, and Nemesis, of all people, comes to his aid. Nemesis coming to the aid of another white man. Uh, that's, that's the damnedest thing. Ryan Ash has been eliminated. His team has also been eliminated from competition. Actually, I've been told that Renaro doesn't officially claim a race. Well, no race would claim him. That's probably closer to the truth. And interesting, we have two uh, athletes named Salvatore in this ring. Well, the Iron Saints really taking apart Jay Fury. I'm surprised he's still in this Five, matchup. Actually, four, I've never seen Jay Fury's three, offense quite two, so curtailed one. as we've seen here. But of course, he's never had quite as many opponents in one matchup as he's had in one. Oh my goodness! The arrival of one half of the God Squad is imminent in this tag team Mega Rumble Gauntlet. Number one contention in the offing, and it's Gabriel. This is Gabriel. That's the double stop by the Archangel. He is in the ring and clearing house. Definitely one of the favorite tag teams in this contenders matchup, the God Squad. And Gabriel dumping Chris Marvel quite unceremoniously. What these athletes don't know who to who to go for next. What Chris Marvel was attempting to do there should not ever be attempted again. Well, don't think we'll have to worry about and that because Chris now Marvel he is eliminated. eliminated. As has his team. And the hopes of he and Don Juan now as well as the Urban Assault eliminated. Squad are out the door. But look uh, at Jay Fury. He's got a second win somehow. He's fighting off both the Iron Saints. And Nick Halen dumping Sauronaro over the top rope, and Renaro hangs on five, to the rope four, and keeps his feet on the apron. Three, two, one. And the referee's trying to keep Nemesis at bay. And ladies and gentlemen, representing himself and Salvatore Renaro is Cool Seth Delay. And a couple of guys who totally rule. What a rotation, German Springboard clothesline by Renaro. And the guys that totally rule working together very well. I don't think Renaro sees Nikki Halen. That's the flatliner. He does now. So the Tomaselli brothers, Nick Halen and Jay Fury, two guys who totally rule. Seem to be obviously the tag teams who are still here at full strength. Both members are involved in this matchup. None of these members are waiting for their other, other tag team members to, to emerge in this matchup. So the cooperation level in some respects should be at the all-time high in this matchup, one would think. Or am I theorizing too much? 
hard to tell in an environment of this nature when you've got so many things coming at you from so many different directions. Five. Doesn't make it easy four, on the announce staff. Three, two, one. I do in fact stand corrected as a Gabriel's tag team partner had not made his way to ringside yet. But I believe he's about to be. And from St. Michael's Cathedral representing the Pentagon Squad, Alter Boy Luke. And Luke made a beeline for Salvatore Renaro's nose. Hell, can't miss it. Luke going after Sal Tomaselli. Vito doesn't particularly care for that. And meets up some Alter Boy kicks and punches. It's Gabriel Renaro. Gabriel snake eyeing Renaro. Irish whip by Vito Tomaselli. Reversal there on Alter Boy Luke. Looking great here upon his return after a few weeks' absence here on NWA Wildside. Vito Tomaselli going to skin the cat here. Coming back off her beautiful agility there. Sorry, that's an impressive and powerful move. Boy, cool Seth DeLay coming within inches of being eliminated. DeLay hanging on for dear life there for certain. Gabriel and Salvatore Renaro training Five, very convincing chops. Four, three, two, one. Uh -oh. Representing Gordy and Lewis and our guest enterprises is Ray Gordy. The pearl of the enterprise has arrived. The second generation superstar, Ray Gordy, Al gets his new prize find here. It's in this wow! Ladies and gentlemen, Sal Tomaselli has been eliminated. Ray Gordy, son of Terry Bam Bam Gordy, one of the most vicious and talented young athletes in the sport today. Now the blue chip top prospect of Al Getz Enterprises. And he's in this ring teaming with another up and coming prospect with Al Getz has done his corporate restructuring, has dubbed it the new generation of Wild Side. Jeff Lewis, the feature presentation is Gordy's partner. Getz has another entry into this gauntlet, pop and circumstance. He's got his bases covered well here as Gordy and Fury brawl. But Ray Gordy is out here Oh my goodness, Ray Gordy is out. I was be concerned the fact that Ray Gordy is out here without someone else doing his bidding for him, but he, he seems to be having no problem. Ray Gordy just eliminated Nick Halen. Nick Halen has been eliminated from competition. And the very pungent Al Getz making sure that Nitro Five, Nick gets sent out four, here. Four, three, two, one. Representing Frosting Dreams, Sweet Dreams! And Sweet Dreams, I'm, I'm sure, probably has eyes at Ray Gordy. Yes, he sure does. There he goes, right for him. Sweet Dreams picked up on his man there. Yeah, Dreams has no use for any member of Al Guest Enterprises. So obviously the focus of Dreams is clearly Ray Gordy. And those big punches from Dreams we have got Ray Gordy lost seeing stars, eyes rolling the back of his head. Altimore Luke so close to sending Vito Tomaselli over that top rope. Vito hanging on as best he can. And rolling up Altimore Luke. Yeah, look, there's no, no pins here. But there are plenty of power bombs. Yeah, get that impression. Cool set delay, sailing two thirds of the way across the ring on Altimore Luke. And there's another power bombs. Power bombs for everyone. I'm glad everybody is just so giving here. It's like Christmas. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go again. No, wait a minute. Alter Boy Luke breaking the chain. Looked like it was almost like a pin attempt there, but five. It was just a way of uh, four, 40 getting out of a power three, bomb. And two, one. And Luke dumping Vito. Ladies Frankly, he should have dumped him over the top rope. Cody Lewis and Al Getz Enterprises is the feature presentation, Jeff Lewis. And Jeff Lewis taking his sweet time. 
And two to four, I'm going after Sweet Dreams. One of quite a, uh, a litany of uh, enemies of Al Getz Enterprises. Look at Jeff, Lew Jeff Lewis raking at the face of Sweet Dreams. Al Getz trying to direct traffic with two of his men involved in this matchup. Jay Furia standing on the throat of Vito Tomaselli, their only remaining member of the Tomaselli team. Altaboy Luke so close to sending Sauer and Aura over that top, but Sal being the, uh, the cagey cretin that he is, manages to stay alive. Lewis and Dreams brawling intently in the corner. Gordy standing on the face of Jay Fury. Seth DeLay has Gabriel down in the corner. Wait a minute, Vito Tomaselli attempted to dump DeLay. Renaro is in to assist his partner. And also Luke trying to stop uh, Sal Renaro from this uh, assistance here as the God Five, Squad are trying to four, dump Sal Renaro over the top. And two, once again, one. Renaro hanging up the bottom rope like it's his best yeah, friend. Representing Dreams and Frost. Skeeter Frost. Oh, it's Skeeter's in. Soon as he's in, his tag team Sweet partner Dreams eliminated. has been eliminated. So now Skeeter Frost has to do his tag team's bidding all on his own. He's doing a pretty good job of taking out Al Getz Enterprises. Gentlemen, Jay Scratch Fury that. has been eliminated as They're as doing a good team. job of taking him out. Vito Tomaselli, the Archangel Gabriel, and Cool Set Delay have also all been eliminated from competition. Mass eliminations Whoa, here. we got a small city has been eliminated within the past 15 seconds. Oh, and Jay Fury meets head up with that iron post. Seth DeLay and Gabriel uh, don't seem to realize they've both been eliminated. Uh, I think they're... Over in the ring, Sauer and Oro and Alta Boy Luke. Ray Gordy and his tag team partner, Jeff Lewis, opening up on Skeeter Frost. The population has definitely taken a turn for the South. And now Alta Boy Luke, the only remembered Five, member of the, his four, team in this matchup. Three, Sauer and Oro, the two, only member of his team involved one. here. And Skeeter Frost, the only member of his team involved. Representing Tank and Iceberg, Tank. What did I say about the complexion of the mess changing every minute? Alter Boy Luke eliminated, so Renaro knocked for a loop. Ladies and gentlemen, Salvatore Renaro and Alter Boy Luke have been eliminated. The strong style psycho has come to clean house. At the expense of Al Guess Enterprises. And Renaro and Alta Boy Luke don't seem to realize they're no longer in this matchup. Tank is kicking ass and taking names. Well, he doesn't care about their names, but the kicking ass part he's rather fond of. And the unlikely tandem of Tank and Skeeter Frost now opening up on Al Getz Enterprises, Jeff Lewis and Ray Gordy. So with Tank involved in this matchup, I can't help but think that Iceberg can't be too far away. Oh boy! Five, four, three, two, one. As crowd is looking three, their chops out that eventuality. Two, one. Representing the Dirty Money okay. Brown contention. Being accompanied by Devin Sturgis. It's Dirty Money. Dirty Money, a quite a powerful NWA Virginia heavyweight champion. We've seen him quite a number of times at Wildside recently, and an impressive, barely cuts the mustard there. Skeeter Frost almost eliminated there. Hanging on that top rope and Dirty Money. Big sweeping pop. Well, Skeeter's gone. Dirty Money eliminates Skeeter Frost. Frost has been eliminated. Dirty has Money his claiming team. his stake in this matchup. And his tag team partner, Phil Brown, known as the Untouchables in NWA Virginia. Looking to, to make their mark in this gauntlet match. And now Tank with as much fire as he came into the ring. That quickly the tide has turned. That fire is seemingly extinguished at this moment. 
as Ray Cordy and Jeff Lewis of Algas Enterprise is teaming with Dirty Money from Virginia. And they all have eyes bought for a tank as the crowd chanting the name of Iceberg. And he's, I'm sure he's obviously on the roster to participate. When will be key, though. Tank has come to life. And Ray Gordy turns his back on him. That's ridiculous. Perhaps the dumbest move Eddie Gordy has ever made. Irish whip there by Dirty Money. Clothesline. It rocks Five, the strong style psycho. Four, he says, what else three, you got, buddy? Two, one. The clothesline hurt Dirty Money more than it did Tank. Remarkable. Representing Pump and Circumstance and Algat Center Prizes is Sean Tempers. And the sugar Sean Dirty Tempers. Dirty Money has been eliminated of from Boo Cucky, Florida. One well, half of well, Pump and Circumstance. Well, wherever the hell he's from, let's hope he goes back. But this is pretty much bad news for Tank as yes. they have three members of Al Getz Enterprises and they're all going to town on the strong style psycho with the power man Ray Gordy doing the most amount of damage. But Al Getz Enterprises in their war with Tank now taken to another level here. This new generation of wild side stars, the next generation of the Enterprise. Oh, beam me up, Scotty. There's no life in this enterprise here. At least no life that I certainly want to trust. As Devin Sturge is taking the dirty money out of here, but all attention now is on Tank. Five, four, three, two, one. Without Enterprises wanting to do nothing two, more than take care of one. Tank in the first place. And also representing the untouchables, Bill Brown. Okay. And Phil Brown wanting a piece of tank himself. And Lewis, Gordy, and Tempers are more than happy to let Brown have his way. Matter of fact, they're, they're all joining in. It's like a happy camp meeting, huh? Unless, of course, you're the strong style psycho. Wait a minute, look at Tank! He's fighting them all! Well, Tank could do it. Al Getz trying to live his uh, pimp dreams, which is a real disturbing thought. I'm sorry I brought it up. Regardless, now Al Getz Enterprises along with Phil Brown trying to dump Tank over that top rope. Good luck, guys. I mean, good luck as it didn't work. Thunderous slap from Tank on Jeff Lewis. Tempers Gordy and Phil Brown trying to determine what the best method of operation to get Tank over that top rope. Ouch, that's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the strong style psycho Tank has been eliminated. It took four of them, plus they had to lower that top rope in order to get Tank over. And I believe Tank Five, has his knee down on the way four, down. Al Getz three, has elated the two, cooperation of one. the Enterprise. Sent the toughest man quite possibly in this whole match Anthony out. Is Brett Anthony. But unfortunately, Brett Anthony finds himself in the lion's den here. As Tank uh, limp limping off back to the dressing room. Hopefully his tag team partner, Iceberg, will, uh, will wave the flag proudly for his team. Which will happen, I imagine, obviously sometime later on in this matchup. Unless Al Getz Enterprise has done one of their disappearing tricks on a tag team partner. They've done that before. But oh boy, Brett Anthony. Boy, wrong place, wrong time, bad draw. Now, if you thought Tank was going to take a beating from these guys, he's over 300 pounds. He's a small army in and of himself. Brett Anthony is a great up and coming wrestler. But how are you going to overcome these odds? Kafaz indeed on a drop toe hold from Ray Gordy. Countering that with a swift kick in the head. Big knee from Jeff Lewis. And Brett Anthony has nobody out here working at his behest. And all gets out, Al Getz Enterprises and, and Phil Brown representing his team. And the one paying the price, quite obviously, Brett Anthony and ultimately the team of Brett Anthony and Brandon Pete. Five, four. Brett Anthony three, firing back. Two. What? A remarkable show of resiliency. I'm not going to last. It's to be Brendan P.
Brandon P, the former Wild Side Tag Team Champion in the ring. Tag Team Extraordinaire. Oh my goodness! That'll get you over the top rope Ladies by breaking and gentlemen, it. gentlemen, Phil Brown has been eliminated. That's not all has been eliminated. In addition to making the complexion of this matchup entirely different, now to throw your person, your opponent over that top rope, it all of a sudden has become a little bit easier. And to avoid being thrown over that top rope has become a hell of a lot more difficult. Sean Tamper's now opening up on Brett Anthony. Jeff Lewis has designs on Brandon P as Ray Gordy's shaking a few cobwebs loose. Tempers almost almost inadvertently kind of eliminating each other. Oh, the entire pace, the entire complex of this match now changes. Because before, the level from which you had to throw the man over the top rope was extremely high. Now you're losing a couple of feet. I think Phil Brown may have been pretty badly injured on that drop down. Let's hope he's all right. Five. Boy and four. P. Three, Opening up on Gordy, two, Gordy responding in one. kind. Oh dear. Representing Pomp and Circumstance and Outgets Enterprises is Ace Rockwell. A smug young athlete that calls himself the seven figure deal. Ace Rockwell gets Brad Anthony out of the picture. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Tempers has been eliminated. As has Brad Anthony. Things change so quickly. And oh my! Brett Anthony has also been eliminated from competition. And Jeff Lewis dropping an elbow in an unfortunate part of Brandon P's body. Ace Rockwell back suplexing Brandon P. And once again, Al Getz Enterprises, the numbers game was working in a big, big way for Al Getz's crew. Well, the Al Getz Enterprise has dominated the, the second half, at least, of this matchup. They've really worked as a cohesive unit in showing why he has picked these guys as his next generation of superstars. And Brandon P, is he's taking a beating. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, all these athletes involved Five, in this, in this four, gauntlet knew three, there was going to be some serious, two, one. there was going to be some serious brutality and some serious numbers going against them. And Brandon P is the textbook definition of that. And all of a sudden, everybody stops dead in their tracks. Dead in their tracks. Because here comes the arrival of the no pain train. Representing himself in tank is Iceberg. Algas Enterprises was three months old. has just dropped. Jeff Lewis almost on his head. Ray Gordy fighting back. A series of forearms is definitely rocking Iceberg. But Iceberg is, oh, good heavens. Ray Gordy going down low. Oh, Rockwell's out Ladies of here. Gentlemen, Ace Rockwell has been eliminated, as has Pomp and Circumstance. Brandon Pete. Doing his best to chip away at Al Getz Enterprises. Has also been eliminated as Wait a minute, that's team. it. We are now down that's to it. the final two teams. That's it. And unfortunately, one of the two teams. The match teams, now begins. The match begins. Which means now that a Tank, the injured Tank, now makes his way down to be part of this Ladies tag team matchup. This being the finals is now a one fall tag team contest with regular rules. Ray Gordy just kicked Iceberg in the kidneys, and all Iceberg is getting is angry. Uh, try something else, Ray. Maybe Iceberg doesn't have kidneys. I don't know where you'd begin to look for him, and I'm not gonna ask. Let's not give that any more thought, all right? 
Jeff Lewis raking at the face of Iceberg. I tell you, it's either going to be Jeff Lewis and Ray Gordy or Iceberg and Tank, number one tag team contenders. I mean, size-wise, well, it's, 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 <laughs> it's quite obvious who the strong ones are with Iceberg and Tank, but with Tank with a hurt knee for reading that properly. And Iceberg now in the receiving end of some punishment, but also Cordy and Lewis have been involved in this matchup for quite a period of time. So there's a fatigue factor involved here. And Ray Gordy showing why he is in fact a Gordy. Referee Mike Posey seeing if Iceberg is, is at all conceding to Ray Gordy. Gordy has made more than a few very impressive athletes concede. Iceberg, I believe, has never conceded even once in his professional wrestling career. You don't make the no pain train submit. It's impossible, Steve. Well, I'm not going to try, but Ray Gordy was trying to do just that. Well, Jeff Lewis could try all he wants, but I can tell you right now it's not going to happen. I mean, interestingly, I'm, I'm sure that the uh, Al Getz Enterprises would have loved that top rope to have broken earlier on in this matchup, particularly when uh, when Iceberg walked, when, uh, it would have been so much easier to have eliminated a lot of people that much sooner. But this is the uh, the, percept, the pro probability of hazard. Jeff Lewis cinching in as much as he can on the left arm of Iceberg. You don't seldom see Iceberg in this position, nor do you see Jeff Lewis the one doing the administering. But Jeff Lewis has come a long way as an athlete. The feature presentation, and now the man applying the pressure, Ray Gordy Tank just wants in the match. He just wants a chance to crack some heads. I'm sure he'll get his opportunity, but can't quite do it legally until Iceberg makes it over to Tank to tag. Tank smacking what's left of that turnbuckle. Creating a wave effect around the ring. Do not adjust your television sets. And Al gets adding a little bit of leverage to Ray Gordy's positioning here at Iceberg's expense, but it's Iceberg who's making his way to this feet. Ray Gordy finds himself in the guard position. Had a lot of good that's gonna do him with Iceberg. Tugging at Gordy, good heavens. Iceberg just dropped Ray Gordy. And in comes Tank, bad knee be damned. The strong style psycho going to town on Ray Gordy. Gordy stopping midstream. For all these athletes, that boy, they're trying to put the stop on being hurtled into the top turnbuckle with the turnbuckles in their current state. You'd be sailing into the first three rows. Yes. Wait just a minute. Iceberg just dropped that thigh drop of doom off the bottom rope. Hey, you gotta improvise. Off with his head. Tank just clocked Al Getz. Thank you, Tank. But that gave Ray Gordy an opportunity to stop an iceberg pin on Jeff Lewis. Tank hooked him, they got the win. We got Ladies new team, number one contenders. And undisputed contenders for the Tank Team Championships, the team of the strong style psycho Tank and Iceberg. <laughs>